In this video, let's see another property based on the concept of matrix multiplication. We already know what is matrix multiplication and we have seen in our previous video the first property based on the same concept. In this video, we are going to study the second property. The second property is associated with associativity. Let's see what is the property and then we'll see a numerical problem in the same video for the property. Let's read the property. What does it say? Matrix multiplication is associative. Matrix multiplication is associative that is ABC is equal to ABC wherein you have to multiply three matrices but you have to take first two matrices here. First two matrices in the brackets means first they will be multiplied then the third will be multiplied and the result that you will get here is equal to the same result that you will be getting when these three matrices are multiplied taking the order such that you multiply second and third first and then you multiply it with the first matrix whenever whenever you have to take inside that they you have to take into consideration that both sides are defined that means the order and everything is known to us and that condition of matrix multiplication which we already know that the order in case of rows columns everything has to be taken into consideration that means if you have two matrices what is the condition for matrix multiplication we know that the number of columns of the pre multiplier should be equal to the number of columns of the post multiplier right number of columns of the pre multiplier should be equal to number of rows of the post multiplier i repeat it right that right let's see a numerical problem for the same and then we'll understand this property in much more detail and in a proper manner we are going to take three matrices these matrices are matrix a b and c why three matrices because we have to consider associativity and not commutativity right let's write the matrix number one that we are going to take you can take any matrices the order must be defined the sides must be defined right the first matrix that i'm going to take is matrix a and the matrix a is such that it is one two zero minus one zero one one two zero minus one zero one any matrix you can take the only thing you have to consider i am repeating again is that on multiplication the order and all the conditions must be satisfied and defined right let's take another matrix b the matrix b is such that it is one zero minus one two and zero three and another matrix one more will be needing let's take it as matrix c we take another matrix c which is minus one one so these are the three matrices which we are going to take we have already written those matrices let's now define the order of these matrices what is order number of rows multiplied by number of columns right in the first matrix we have two rows and three columns so it is two by three here we have three rows and two columns it is three by two and last but not the least we have two rows and one column so it is two by one what are we supposed to do we are supposed to do these two things and then verify the associativity property right we are taking the lhs side first i'm writing a b and then c this is my case one that we are going to consider now that means what that means first multiply a and b a and b are these two matrices first multiply them so what is a it is one two zero let me write it it is one two zero and it is minus one zero one this is your a what about the matrix b the matrix b is one zero minus one two and zero three so it is one zero minus one two and zero three copy the data properly in case you miss out something the results will vary right these two things are to be kept in bracket that means first we have to multiply these two so first let's multiply these two only it is ab is multiplication possible that too you need to check this is two by three this is 3 by 2 you see 3 is equal to 3 yes multiplication is possible where the resultant order is 2 by 2 okay so we have it as 2 by 2 now what we are going to do is let's firstly define the order 2 by 2 and again I have this first row first column then first row second column second row first column second row second column as we already did earlier in the cases right so it is one ones are which is one so i write here one then what is next next we have is 
2 minus 1 multiplication. So it is minus 2 and 0, 0 is a, we know that it is 0 only. So this is done first row, first column. Moving next, we have first row, second column. So first row multiplied by the second column. So it is 1, 0 is a, which is 0. Then it is 2, 2 is a, 4. I am not writing 0, but yes, I am writing 4, right? And this is 0 into 3. Again, 0, 3 is a, is 0. Don't write anything for that. Next, second row, first column. So it is second row and first column, right? Let's do it together. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. Next, what we have is 0 into something. 0 into minus 1 is again 0, right? 1 into 0 is also 0. Next, let's move to the next thing, minus 1 into 0. Minus 1 into 0 is what? It is 0. 0 into 2 is 0. But yes, last, 1 into 3. What is 3 manza? It is 3. So the answer that I obtained for this particular AB multiplication is what? It is 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So I'll write here minus 1. Rest, you already know, there are only 1, 1 element. So no need for any change. So this is minus 1. But this is what? This is AB. What were we supposed to find? First AB, then multiply by C. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write here AB, multiply by C, and let's see what will be the answer. Copy AB, what the result you got? Minus 1, 4, minus 1, 3. What was C? C was another matrix. It was minus 1, 1. And first check, is matrix multiplication possible? The order of the first matrix, 2 by 2. The order of the second matrix, 2 by 1. So that means what? 2 is equal to 2. So this happens that yes, matrix multiplication is possible and the result that you'll be getting is a 2 by 1 matrix, right? Let's do it here quickly. So it is a 2 by 1 matrix. That means two rows and only one column, right? So this is first row, first column. So it is minus 1 into minus 1, which is plus 1. And here it is 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5. Next, you come on to the next row. It is minus 1 into minus 1. Again, plus 1. Plus 1 into here. 3 ones are is 3. So, plus 1 plus 3 is what? 4. Right? 1 plus 3 is 4. So, 5, 4 is a column matrix that you get. And that column matrix is what? It is the result of this part which is LHS. We are not completed yet. We need to do this part also and then compare the results and then we'll verify the property. So let's quickly do the second thing that we are supposed to do A, B, C again, but consider B and C have to be multiplied first and then the result has to be multiplied by A. So B and C, what was the B matrix? We can write it from here also and here also. It is 1, 0, minus 1, 2, 0, 3. I write it. B, C has to be done, right? We are doing B, C. So it is 1, 0, minus 1, 2. 0, 3 and C has to be multiplied. C is nothing but a matrix minus 1, 1. You can copy from there also. Firstly, write the orders so as to make it sure whether matrix multiplication is possible or not. The second and the first matrix 2 are there. First is having the order as 3 by 2. The second is 2 rows, 1 column, 2 by 1. Yes, it is possible. Why so? Because both are 2's only, right? And the result is what? 3 by 1. Right, so 3 by 1 will be the result in matrix order. But first, let's multiply and then find the result. So what is the multiplication? How is it possible? It will be 3 rows and 1 column. As simple as that. 3 rows, 1 column. So it is first row, first column. Then second row, first column. Third row, first column successively. So 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Anything multiplied by 0 does not exist. It is 0 only, so it is minus 1. What about second row, first column? Now. Minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. 2 into 1 is 2. So plus 1 plus 2 is 3. Repeating again. Minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. 2 ones are is 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Next you come on to this. 0 into something not exist because it is 0 only. And 3 ones are is 3. So this is the matrix that we are obtaining. But this result is for what? It is for BC. What were we supposed to find? A multiplied by BC. So now let's modify the question a bit and I'm computing A multiplied by BC, right? So BC is the matrix. What was the A matrix? We have to copy 1, 2, 0, minus 1, 0, 1. So it is 1, 2, 0, minus 1, 0, 1 and multiply by this matrix which we obtained, right? Now I have this first row, first column, first row, second column. We are doing this. 
it is like first row first column and then first row second column we will be computing the whatever calculation is there in rough column and then we will be writing the final result here right so it is 1 into minus 1 which is minus 1 okay let me write it here it is minus 1 then 2 into 3 is what it is plus 6 I write here plus 6 and then I have 0 into something which is not actually defined so it is the result will be 5 that I will write later okay first compute the result of this also we will write it together now it is minus 1 into minus 1 which is plus 1 okay and then 0 into something not exist it is 0 only 1 into 3 is 3 so 1 plus 3 and 1 plus 3 is what 4 now what was the order of the resultant matrix we already know it should have been 3 by 1 so it is like 3 rows and 1 column let's do it again first row first column first row second column it is 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 2 into 3 is 6 and we have 0 into 3 as 0 so result is 5 and then we have this matrix it is like minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 0 into 3 is 0 and 1 into 3 is this so what is the resultant matrix here we got 5 4 here also we are getting 5 4 so it is 5 and 4 and one thing that we need to keep it into our minds is that this matrix is what this matrix is something which has two rows and three columns so it is two rows three columns this is three rows one column so resultant should have been two by one and yes it is two by one only so these two matrices are equal hence it is verified that yes this property exists the property is of associativity in matrix multiplication